everyone, I'm Keychain. Today I'll be opening 120 Enchanted Airships. Um, before I get started, I wanted to talk about some new deals I have with the Amazon App Store. I have a 25% off code for both the US and the UK on the $100 pack of Amazon coins. All right, so I wanted to realistically talk about the amount of keys um, that I purchase in a month. And I sat down and took a better look compared to the estimate I had last time. I kind of guessed this one I actually looked at. And what I've come up with is I gain 39 keys per cycle. And nine of those are free. And I, I say they're free. I talk about it a little bit more in the video. But basically I'm gaining, you know, with that math, 78 keys per month. Uh, and about 18 of them are free from quests, from inside the honor chest, from various alliance treasure hunt, um, those type of things. So these are the numbers I came up with. I don't pay more than a dollar a key. So for the ones I did purchase, um, I also gained the 20% discount for using the Amazon App Store. And the total cost for all these keys came out to about $67.20. So... That being said, going into the live opening footage, um, I did shoot it live, so it will have all the emotions in it. Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. Today we are doing round two of the Enchanted Airship Honor Chests. So I'm going to open up 120 chests. Um, if you didn't watch the last video, look for that on the channel and see kind of what happened. Um, the goal for today is to try and get two of the new airship parts. Anything better is amazing. Anything less, not so great. So two is the goal. Now, the other thing I'm after is trying to get a set. So the last time we did this, let's take a look real quick. I got two and one from each different set. So if I can find them. We've got the engine and the hull. So one defense, one all troop stats. The goal would be to get a second of either one of these so that I don't need the 200 scrolls to ever finish you know, them off. The worst case scenario, the worst thing that could happen, I probably shouldn't even put it out there, but the worst thing that would happen would be to get one of the cannons and one of the bearings. So then I would have one of each piece and it won't save me any scrolls at all. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we get two, hopefully to a lot of things. Um, so this one is live versus the other one that I recorded in sound, um, did the sound after. So my voice will go up with excitement and down with dread as we go through. So here we go with the first nine. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a rare Sky Silver Cannon and a precious Treville's Metal. So all of these are just materials. And what I will do at the end, um, I'll cut in the total materials that we get for all of the chests and what the estimated value is. First super chest, and we got a flawless thunderbolt fencer. So we're going to move on and do the next nine. All right. Materials, and I'm trying not to scroll too fast here because I have to be able to see these totals when I get through. Legendary shadow gem. Epic Rage Fire Rider and more materials. Second super chest. Precious Travails Metal. So more materials here. Opening another nine. So this one looked like a dud, which hopefully the super chest will be better if we got a dud right before it. What I mean by dud is there was no there are no prizes in this nine chest. Okay, super chest. And a fire demon pistol plus two. That's terrible. 
Um, to me, that's one of the worst. Um, Blood Tooth is actually the worst, but Fire Demon is is also one of the ones I don't really care for. All right, so Sky Silver Hall, Legendary Shadow Gem, and that's it. We're on our fourth super chest. Still no new airship part. Precious Grimald's Caravat. More materials here. So, let's move on to the next nine. I'm trying to stay positive here. I'm, I'm worried already about not getting the two. I know we're not even halfway done, but uh, the last time I did it, I got one on the very first chest and the very last chest. Spoilers, sorry if you didn't watch the other one. But um, this one's not looking great so far, and it worries me because... Without any of the new materials, the keys are just kind of meh. It's just paying for materials in a, in a different form. Blood Tooth Boots. The worst reward in here. I don't like getting Blood Tooth. On to the next nine. So we've got more materials. A Wildfire Shadow Blade, which is a step down from Fire Demon. So not many materials there. And all materials all the way up through here. And we're going on to super chest number six. Still no airship part. There's one, and this is the bearing. So now I've got one from three different categories. And we might be well on our way to the worst case scenario. So the first 60 chests, the first half, got me one. Let's hope that there's another one hiding in these last 60. Moving on to the next nine chests. And we got another legendary shadow gem. A legendary trance gem. So I'm going to have lots of gemstone materials. And I think that's it. Next super chest is a bearing. Okay, we just got our second piece, which is great for these chests, and it is a duplicate of one that we have. So we saved 200 scrolls of the enchanted airship, and that has a lot of value. That makes all of these keys worth it. Um, if you tried to buy all of these scrolls right now, they're a dollar a piece. So it would be $200 if I wanted to get a set of enchanted airship parts by just straight buying them. So that made all of the keys worth it. Uh, and at the start of the video, I'll put up a chart for what I paid. Um, and we'll discuss that real quick at the end of these openings. But I pay less than a dollar a key. Uh, more like, I don't know, 85 cents a key, and I don't go over that. So this is roughly $105 you know, worth of keys, so not too bad. Okay, 50 more chests, and I don't really care what we get out of these. Um, it's all materials. If we get another airship part, that would be absolutely amazing, but I'm not going to hold my breath for it. I've never gotten more than two out of a set of 120. Blood Tooth, one of the worst things in here. And let's go on to another super chest. Flawless Thunderbolt Rider, that's materials, and all of these materials here. We're going to go on to the next nine. I will speed this up a little bit now that we've gotten kind of what we're after. Wildfire plus two. More materials. And I saw another one up at the top, another legendary trance gem. Lots of legendary gems, so that's going to be really good for materials. So we'll we'll disenchant those um, or break them down at the end. Another flawless thunderbolt. So more materials here, 30 left to go. So I saw a legendary shadow gem. And I think that was it. Look at this, four in a row, four Mediterranean metal. Okay, another super chest. Another Thunderbolt fencer. 20 chests left. 
Pursuer boots. Oh, I lied about Bloodtooth. Getting Pursuer is way worse than Bloodtooth. Not by much, though, because what you get when you disenchant the, uh, the Pursuer boots is a scroll and Pursuer boots. So that's it's not much better, because what are you going to do with the scrolls? You can't do anything with them. Okay, one more super chest, and we got Bloodtooth Boots. I've talked about Bloodtooth and Pursuer too much, and now the game is punishing me. So, there it is. We're on our last 10. So we're going to do one more times 9, and another super chest. And this one was a dud. So, I'll verify that it was a dud, and I have to get these up on the screen so that I can put them in my spreadsheet to get a total. But that's either going to mean the last super chest is amazing, or we're out of luck. Oh, let's give this a second. We'll trace the super chest. Super chest. It's supposed to be special. Let's click right on the key. Open. Ready? Here we go. And another flawless thunderbolt. So that's it for the actual opening. Let's go break this stuff down. Um, oh, also I want to talk real quick about the keys. Um, so people are wondering where I get my keys, um, how I get them so cheap. First, I always upgrade my honor chest all the way through. And that means in a month. So there's one, two, three keys here. Four. And... I think that's it. So four keys there. So that means every month there's eight keys from the honor chest. And I don't count the value of these as I don't I don't individually count these. I consider these free keys because the honor chest there's enough materials to pay for itself and get the value, especially with these marquee badges. The next place that I always get keys when honor chest ends. There's a lost treasure here that will give one key for spending a dollar and two keys for, for spending five dollars. And then when they do that, they do a limited deal in here, and the keys will be a one-time purchase only in the limited deal. There'll be a five dollar pack for five dollars for five keys and a one dollar pack for one key. So you spend six dollars, you get six keys, plus you get the three keys free. So you're getting nine keys for six dollars. And then Every time the honor chest resets, they have keys in the regular bundle tab in the growth section. And I've already purchased some of these out. But if you scroll down, you'll find the keys. There's a Musketeers Challenge bundle. And there's a $5. You can buy four times the $5 pack each cycle of honor chest and four times of the $1 one key pack. So that's 24 keys for a dollar a piece every cycle. So that's another 48 keys a month at a dollar a piece. So you see where I'm going with this. Um, you can't get a full 120 in a cycle unless you go higher than the dollar per key. And I don't think that's worth it. So I don't ever buy this six keys for $10. It just, it doesn't seem like that good of a deal. Even when the lost treasure's up, it's only three. So then you're paying $10 for nine keys, which is close, but not quite. So I just, I don't buy this one. If it was eight keys for $10, that would mean sometimes it was worth it, but they have diminishing returns on all their stuff so that the more you want to buy, the more expensive it gets. Okay, enough talk about the keys. Let's go and get these materials done, and then I'll put a chart up with the total materials after it's all said and done. So first, let's go in here and we'll do the gemstones. Gemstones are an easy one because I can get them all at the same time. So we got four of these, two of these, and one of these. Total 1 billion gemstone essence and 26.7 thousand of the sun crystals. Pretty good. I'm getting quite a bit of materials for gemstones. I'm looking forward to the next 50% of it. Okay, let's go and do the armory. So first we'll get in here and we'll get rid of the blood tooth because when we do the blood tooth, all it gives us is pursuer. So there's no additional materials. There's no value in these blood tooth scrolls. They're not useful for anything. I can't do anything with them. 
So that's it for Bloodtooth. Now we will break down the Pursuer, and they do stack. So you'll see after I break this Pursuer plus three, that there'll be another, you know, if there's more of them, they'll be right behind it. So here's the materials. Broke that down. The boots is what I got a bunch of. So there's a plus three boot, another plus three boot, and then a single non-enchanted boot, and that's it. And then a necklace, non-enchanted necklace, and that's it for this. So those are the materials that I got. It, it wasn't wasn't very good. Okay, next let's go into, let's do guard weapons, because I always forget to do this one in the video. So to, to find your extra guard weapons, this little chest here shows the extra stuff that you have. So we're going to dismantle this and this and this and this, and that's going to give us these materials and two more of these that we will dismantle immediately following for another 4,200. And that's it for guard weapons. Let's go into coat of arms. Coat of arms, I should have got, I saw a lot of these, so there should be a bunch. And there are, so total for these, 25.3 million artisan materials and 3.7K of these pyroar ingots, or I, ingots, I, you know, however you say it. Done for that. A lot of materials. It's 50% of it. It's going to be fun. Almost there. Curiosities. I saw a couple of these pop up too. So one of these, two of these for a total of 1.8 million, 540k, and zero of these blue flames. That's unfortunate. And last but not least, airship. So we can come in here and see the victory that we got. The big victory on this one is getting two of the same. This is the, the best thing that could have happened. So that's I'm super happy about that. And what did we get to break down? We got one of these and one of these. So 6.3 million and 648 of the precision components. And we will be saving these for the 50% event. And that is it for the actual breakdown. So here on the screen, this is my reference pack sheet. So what I did here is I took the name of the pack, um, what the cost of the pack was, and how many of the actual item were in the pack. So for example, the top one was Copper Essence. And I did a, there's 127,500 in the 99 cent pack. And then I account the item at 60% of the value of that pack, and 40% of the value comes from the resources that go with it. And then this total items category is the amount of total materials I got from opening all the honor chests divided out by the number of items in a pack to give me the total cost of each set of materials. And you'll see here that the total is worth $333.25. So here you can see that the total value for all of the items um, is up on the screen, but it also has the total amounts for all materials. Uh, I still think that Honor Chest is a really good value. Uh, I spent, you know, with the $67 roughly, uh, getting $333 for the stuff is, is a pretty good value. Um, but it does take a while to save these keys up. And that's why I only open them when they're giving out the full new item. And usually I only open them when it's, um, you know, airship and the curiosities. So the reason I don't like gems and coat of arms as much is because there's so many more. So to get the jackpot, like we got in this video, it would take me getting four of the exact same coat of arms to make that happen or gems, it would be like, you know, either five or six, depending on which gem type, um, to get the jackpot, unless you got the two advanced gems, which that's pretty rare also. But, you know, I may do one, we'll see how many keys I have left and kind of see how it goes. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and feel free to share the video in other channels. Thanks.